unequivocal experience of the inefficiency of the subsisting federal government. You are called upon to deliberate on a new constitution for the United States of America. The subject speaks its own importance, comprehending in its consequences nothing less than the existence of the Union, the safety and the welfare of the parts of which it is composed. The fate of an empire, in many respects, the most interesting in the world. It has been frequently remarked that it seems to have been reserved to the people of this country. By their conduct and example, to decide the important question whether societies of men are really capable or not of establishing good government from reflection and choice, or whether they are forever destined to depend for their political constitutions on accident and that decision is to be made and a wrong election of the part we shall act may in this view deserve to be considered as the general misfortune of mankind idea will add the inducements of philanthropy to those of patriotism to heighten the solicitude which all considerate and good men must feel for the event happy it will be if our choice should Directed by a judicious estimate of our true interests, unperplexed and unbiased by considerations not connected with the public good. But this is a thing more ardently to be wished than seriously to be expected. affects too many particular interests, innovates upon too many local institutions, not to involve in its discussion a variety of objects foreign to its methods and of views, passions, and prejudices.